In this day and age, many people are falling into traps, snares. They're falling into deceptions. There are many false winds of doctrines which are coming and sweeping people. The majority of people are being swept off. This video, I hope this video will open your eyes so that you will know exactly that, you know, when people are often going in one direction, it's not always a good thing to go where everybody else is going. Because if you see a, a lot of people going in one direction, you need to say, wait a second, there's a case here. Many people are flocking in that direction and they're calling that truth. If everybody's going there and they are calling that truth, you need to say, okay, the majority has never always been on the right path. The majority, in fact, are the ones who tend to always go into perdition, into destruction, should I say. Now, in this day and age, so many new doctrines are being thrown around and people seem to be catching these winds of doctrines and then boom, run with it. Did you know that this actually is a fulfillment of, of prophecy? It's actually a, a fulfillment of what is written in the scriptures. In the book of 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, beginning from verse 10 all the way through verse 12, the Bible is talking about how when people turn away from the truth that they and, and, and basically reject the truth, therefore they are not saved by the truth because they turned against God's laws and they disobeyed His ways. What's going to happen is God is going to allow, He's going to send them strong delusions that they should buy into these delusions that they might believe it so that by believing these strong delusions they might be damned. Is God the one who's fabricating these delusions? No. When the Lord says He's going to send strong delusion to these people it's simply because these people they have not heeded the warning of turning away from their sins and keeping His laws. The laws of God and sin, they are connected because when you transgress the law, you are in transgression. Because the Bible says sin, by definition, sin is the transgression of the laws of God. Here's what we have to understand. The three days of darkness that is taking place, that, well, that people are talking about right now, that is also a false delusion. This is a wind, a false wind of doctrine that is coming and sweeping people like a, like, like, a, like a strong wave that is just coming and taking people by a storm. Many people are being carried away by this strong delusion and they're actually now believing that there is coming a, a, a time of three days of darkness and this and that and there's going to be demons coming out from hell and then they're going to start destroying the human race and that God's children are going to be in houses, in their houses with the doors and windows all locked but before they go inside they need to sprinkle holy water around their house and especially around the door areas and that they need to take blessed candles and light those candles and that these candles will remain lit and once the candles are lit during the three days of darkness it will never go off. Little do people know that they are actually being introduced into a satanic type of a ritual. This is a Catholic doctrine. If there's anything that you need to understand about the Catholic Church, the Catholic Church is not a Christian church. The Catholic Church is an anti-Christian church. If you think that the Roman Catholic Church believes in Jesus Christ, if you think that they believe in Yeshua, they don't. They don't believe in Yeshua. They don't worship Yeshua. They worship somebody else. The three days of darkness. A lot of people are flocking around this, thinking this is something that's going to come to pass and we're going to, and then everybody starts to now get all freaky, scared and everything and, and now they're trying to go and what? Now they're, they're trying to go and make the purchase these uh, these candles, um, what do they call them? Um, beeswax. The, the the it's blessed it's blessed blessed beeswax candles. You know, 
So he's like, you gotta buy these things and then you and you keep them in your house. You need to have water. You need to have holy water so you can bless your house with it. And then you have to anoint yourself with the holy water. That's a Catholic, that's a Catholic teaching, typical Catholic traditions. You see, ladies and gentlemen, this three days of darkness thing, this quote unquote three days of darkness. This is something that they are pulling from the Old Testament where they're saying, well, the, the Bible says that Moses stretched forth his hand and then there was darkness upon the land of Egypt for three days. So, it happened in the past. The Bible mentioned how long it, it remained in, in, in Egypt for three days. That's not something that's saying that there's going to be a three days of darkness in the future. But they're taking the scriptures of something that happened literally in the past and they're saying that that is what's going to happen. But the Bible doesn't say that we're going to have a th a any, any, anything of a three days of darkness. No. Even when they use that other passage in the book of Revelation that talks about how it talks about the second coming of the Lord, where the, the, the sun will be darkened, um, where, where, the, where the sun itself will become black, um, you know, a sackcloth of, sack of hair. They're going to say, that, see, that is the, the three days of darkness. Do not take all these other scriptures. You see, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know the original, if you don't know the uh, the original uh, diamond, if you if you have if you study a diamond, you will be able to know whether somebody is giving you a false diamond or not. That's the same thing with the Word of God. The Word of God is our precious jewel. If you don't know that that precious jewel, if you don't know this precious stone, the precious rock, should I say? If you don't study this rock for yourself and be grounded upon the rock of upon Jesus Christ, the rock of ages, upon the word of God, Jesus Christ, the word of God. If you're not grounded in that, you will be taken by a storm by these strong delusions because the Lord made a promise that those who don't heed the word of God, those who don't study the word of God, those who don't turn to his laws, they are going to be receiving these false winds of doctrines and they're going to run with it. And many of them are going to come with signs and wonders. They are going to be dreamers. People are going to come and they're going to tell you that, that, this, that, that God has spoken to them in these dreams like this, like this, like that. And that three days of darkness is going to take place because of God, because God spoke to them in dreams and, and, and in this and that. While the Lord did, did promise that people are going to have visions and dreams in the last days, Understand that Satan is also able to give people visions and dreams in these last days to carry forth his agenda of further pushing a strong delusion. When the Lord allows Satan to make his move, Satan is going to come and say, Okay, I'm claiming these people to myself. I'm going to send them this. I'm going to come with them with a strong delusion. You see, ladies and gentlemen, by knowing the word of God, then you'll be able to stay away from, from these kinds of false winds of doctrines. This three days of darkness thing, it, it's of a Catholic origin. Don't waste your time with it. There is no scripture that justifies the three days of darkness that they're talking about that it's soon to take place. The other thing that people are mentioning with regards to this whole three days of darkness thing is this whole Nibiru. Wormwood or whatever, all those things. There, oh, this planet is this planet is going to collide with our sun, and it's going to result in the in the three days of darkness, and then demons are going to come from hell, the, and that's something that is actually written down in in, in with that in in the three days of darkness that you're going to see certain signs that oh, the church is going to start falling into immorality, and you're going to start seeing this, and you're going to see that, and then eventually you're going to start seeing. Um, signs in the heavens you're going to see lightning and you're going to see this and that and then the earth will obviously shake and then all kinds of things and then people are going to begin to see apparitions and then they go on to describe that demons will be terrorizing the human race that demons are going to be on the earth terrorizing people and basically that only the saints of God the saints of God will be in their homes so now your house is your place of refuge as long as you stay in your house and as long as you have the the blessed candle and the holy water 
sprinkled around your house, you are safe from the from the from the attacks of the demons. That is an erroneous teaching. It is nowhere. It is. It is not even by. It is not even remotely close to anything about the about Bible prophecy. It's not remotely close. There is no such thing as the demons are going to fly around and then they're going to stop murdering people and doing this and that and people are going to see all these apparitions and it's going to be all over the place, all in your face and then, you know, only the saints of God are going to be safe in the church and, I mean, in their homes. Marker number one to, this, to, to determine whether this is true or false. That's how you can know if this is biblically grounded or not. Number one, Demons are not in hell. Demons are not in hell. Demons are here, roaming on this earth back and forth, walking up and down on this earth, deceiving people. The Bible says that the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. A lion is not beneath the surface of the earth. A lion roams on the earth, walks, seeking whom he may devour. That is how the devil is described in the book of Job. When God spoke to Satan, he said, Satan, from when, from where do you come? And Satan said, From what from for I come from the earth, from walking to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down about it. If Satan is the head of all his legions of fallen angels, and these fallen angels are called demons or, or devils, if the devil, Satan, is the head of, of, of the devils and or demons. The question is, where are his demons? Are they not going to be where the leader is? Of course, they are on this earth. Nobody is in hell right now being tormented by demons. Because the fire, the second death, the fire which is going to take place at the end of time, that lake of fire, the Bible is clear, that lake of fire was prepared for the devil and his fallen angels. That's who the fire was originally prepared for. It never was prepared for you. It never was prepared for me. The fire was not prepared for the human race. This three days of darkness is a strong delusion that is being sent upon the world and people are now believing these lies. Because they are not grounded in the truth, they are believing these lies, not knowing that they are going to be damned. Take the scriptures for what it is. If you see any type of new winds of doctrines and you see people flocking by the thousands, by the millions, and everybody is saying, Amen, Amen, praise be to the Lord, Amen. I'm going to be protected during the three days of darkness. If you are, are falling in, that, in line with that, be very cautious. Look at the word of God for yourself because you don't want to be caught in this false deception. And for the people out there, just for the people out there who think that who, who are saying, Amen, I want Jesus to come. Be careful what you wish for. Because some people, they might say, Yeah, I just want Jesus to come back and put an end to this. I just want to go to heaven. But they're in a they're living in an unlawful relationship. I want Jesus to come back, but they're still smoking. I want Jesus to come back and just take me home so I can be with him in heaven. But they committed adultery and they have not yet repented of it. I want Jesus to come back and take me home and put an end to this miserable world that we live in. I want him to just take me. I want to be in heaven with the Lord. But they are still stuck with gossiping. Thinking foul thoughts in their heads. Be very careful what you wish for. Because sometimes... Most people, when they say they want Jesus to come back, they are not prepared. So before you say, Amen, Jesus, come, come and take me home. Before you say, Amen, to that, ask yourself the question. Am I right with you, O Lord? Am I right with you in my mind? Am I right with you with my habits? Am I right with you spiritually, Father? Am I right with you with my relationship? Am I living in an unlawful relationship? Many people are playing house. Many people 
are living in unlawful relationships that are not sanctified by God, that are not married, that they are not married, yet they are playing house, living together, but they're like, you know what, I'm, I'm being with this person, but I don't want to marry them just because what if I marry them and then it turns out that they cheat on me or or they and I and I end up not liking them because you know I'm I'm sick of their 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 habits. Things used to be good, but now they are not so good to me. So they don't want to get married because they're thinking, well, if I get married to, to this person and then they end up making the one wrong move, maybe they end up you know having bad habits. Because I'm not married to them, I can leave at any time. So they're leaving that window open. Because if I get married to this person, then that means that I can't leave them legally and biblically speaking, spiritually before the eyes of the Lord, I can't leave them. So they keep the, those options open. But while you're keeping this option open, what you're doing is you are keeping the option open for damnation. That's you basically saying, I want to dance with the devil. I want to hold hands with the devil. I want to dance with him and see where this relationship is going to go. If he doesn't give me what I want, then I'll turn my back on him. But we need to dance with Jesus Christ, our Savior. We need to invite our Savior in our lives. And we need to, we need to say, precious Lord, lead me, lead me home. Lord, I want you in my heart. Lord, I want to dance with you. Lord, take my hands and use it for thy bidding. Heavenly Father, take my life. You gave it to me, Lord. I'm giving it back to you. Father in heaven, please cover me with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cover me with your righteousness. Give me your garments of righteousness. That is who we need to dance with. Because when we dance with the devil, don't dance with the devil and expect that you're not going to get burned by it. You need to dance with your Savior. I need to dance with my Savior. Be very careful about this whole three days of darkness thing. It's nonsense. It's something that is fabricated by the Catholic Church. It is something that is unscriptural. It is something that is unsanctified. It is something that is filthy. It's a filthy delusion. Don't dance with the devil. Do not do it. If anybody comes and they're telling you about the three days of darkness and then they're and they're and they're telling you how they're you know they have all these dreams about the three days of darkness and that it is something that is coming and everything like that, and that the demons are going to fly rampant and all blah 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 blah. Be very careful about these things. If this is if this thing cannot be tested, can if this cannot be held according to the scripture if it if it fails the test according to the bible don't believe it because just in like manner as how the lord can give us visions and dreams and inspire us guess what the devil can also do the same the devil can give you dreams the devil can give you visions so long as that you as you carry his agenda and he is going to keep inspiring you that you should continue pushing this message be very careful because the Bible says nothing about a three days of darkness that's all I'm going to say I'm just going to say be very careful if you see people going in that direction don't go there hold back and think first before I go and jump on that same that same train that everybody's going is it really true is it really safe think about it that way all right, because right now the whole internet is buzzing about the whole three days of darkness. So keep out from this thing. That's all I'm going to say for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in and for joining me. You take good care of yourselves. Be safe. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And uh, uh, be uh, make sure you turn your bell notifications on. And I'll see you guys next time.